WWE Survivor Series might not have featured any main world title matches, but it was still a massive event that left fans talking. So we'll see what's new with CM Punk, Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, and more. Starting things off with, of course, CM Punk's surprise return to the WWE. The last time CM Punk walked into a WWE arena was January of 2014 at that year's Royal Rumble event, and everyone knows the story from there on out. Punk and WWE had a fallout. He walked out, was eventually terminated, and was never brought back to the company at all for nearly 10 full years. He did some acting, tried out UFC, made his wrestling return at AEW in 2021, but now just two months away from the 10-year anniversary of his departure of WWE, he returns to the company. CM Punk's return took place literally in the closing moments of Survivor Series. WWE even did Triple H's signature move of throwing up the copyright trademark logo up on the screen on the bottom right, usually indicating the end of the show, but then proceeding to give us a post credit sort of moment. Triple H really started this in NXT with Johnny Gargano and Ciampa's split. Then we saw it at Extreme Rules 2022, where the end of the show logo popped up before Bray Wyatt made his return. And now we saw it here at Survivor Series. The logo pops up, commentaries thanking everyone for tuning in, and then CM Punk's music hits. It's something that Triple H loves doing. He'll have you think that the show is over, and then he'll throw in something major at the end. So you always gotta watch for that move. But they did it here for the return of CM Punk. His music hits, and he makes his first WWE entrance in quite literally a decade to a completely surprise crowd. And the Punk references have been flooding WWE television, even just the night before where Kevin Owens had a big line saying that if you say someone's name enough times, they'll appear. A lot of fans thought that line from Kevin Owens as a punk reference, and just one night later, after a whole night of chanting his name, CM Punk did in fact appear. But what made also a big surprise was that it was genuinely kept a secret from everyone. In the modern day era where wrestling surprises are often spoiled way ahead of time by several outlets, not a single soul reported that CM Punk was backstage or would be returning at Survivor Series. Instead, all the usual accurate reporters claimed that there was no shot Punk would be returning at Survivor Series, and they were proved wrong, making it possibly one of the best kept secrets in history of the company. Cody's WrestleMania 38 return was massive, but like even Cody said himself, that was the worst kept secret in history because everyone knew that it would be Cody weeks in advance. It was reported and there was no real mystery there. But for all the outlets to be completely clueless out of the loop and couldn't get any information from their sources, that was actually a pretty nice change to see. It made Punk's return a genuine surprise for all the fans. So whatever method Triple H used to keep it a secret, Hopefully he puts that in play for all of his future big moments and returns because nothing beats a good surprise like that that no one reports on. But as far as how WWE and Triple H were able to pull this off, Fightful claims that CM Punk only told one individual close to him that he spoke with Triple H the week prior. WWE staff, reps, creative, production, and other backstage personnel had absolutely no idea that CM Punk would be appearing at the end of the show. There's a bit of conflicting reports on whether top talents were informed on CM Punk's return or not, so we'll have to wait on more clearer information on that. But CM Punk was reportedly kept hidden all night, until several moments before his appearance, when he walked in plain sight through a path that they cleared for him backstage. Although the camera never left CM Punk during his return at Survivor Series, fan recorded footage of the superstars' reactions in the ring started circulating and going viral. A lot of superstars seemed genuinely shocked and confused, because just like the fans, they reportedly had no idea Punk would be appearing on the show. But the individual with the most attention on himself for this reaction was of course Seth Rollins. Seth was seen flipping Punk off from the ring and having to be held back by several individuals, 
while continuing to curse out CM Punk. Seth did just make comments a little while back where he said CM Punk is a locker room cancer and how he never wants to see him come back to WWE. So taking those comments from Seth into consideration, that could be the explanation for his very explicit reaction to CM Punk's return. But things didn't end there. Reports also claim that Drew McIntyre stormed out of the arena in anger related to the entire CM Punk situation. Drew did storm out in the ring immediately after the Judgment Day's loss at Survivor Series, but that appeared to be related to his storyline. But reports claim that the backstage actions of storming out in anger wasn't storyline related and was related to CM Punk's return. Reports also claim that Seth Rollins had to be kept away from CM Punk backstage after the show and how Punk appeared to be confused with Seth's actions. It was also reported that CM Punk didn't speak with any talent before the show, obviously since he was the surprise appearance. So with one single appearance of just standing on the stage for a few moments, CM Punk has the entire WWE scene buzzing with all these burning questions about the Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre situations. Is it all work? Is it real? Is it a little bit of both? Those are the burning questions right now. But when it comes to Seth's case, lots of reports are leaning more towards the work side of things for his Survivor Series reaction. And with Roman Reigns nowhere to be seen for a while longer, the start of a feud between Punk and Rollins would be extremely interesting to see and could carry the weight of the WWE for a while until Roman is back. You got all their history there between CM Punk and The Shield. Seth was at one point in time taking orders from Punk during those Shield days. So to see that come up and even see Seth's locker room cancer comment come up during the feud could be very interesting to see. Maybe that's the entire narrative behind Punk's return. Maybe the story is that some people aren't happy to see him and that's how all of his programs kick off. Punk is rumored to be appearing on Raw. There was even rumors that he could turn out to be a free agent. But CM Punk has made his return to WWE, and it'll be exciting to see where it all goes to next. His return was a little lost in the sauce due to the return of Punk, but we can't forget that Randy Orton also returned during Survivor Series after a year and a half of being away. So his situation will be interesting to keep an eye on, and there were several great directions that was teased during the War Games match itself. As Randy was preparing for an RKO on the Judgment Day members, he suddenly turned around and started preparing to hit Jey Uso with an RKO, of course due to the events of May 2022. So it's always great storytelling when the characters don't forget about the events of the past. That's always great to see, and that happened here. Randy and Jay were able to squash things for the night, but will they stay squashed is the question. We see how obsessed Drew McIntyre has become with getting revenge on Jay Uso. So could Randy become like that too towards Jay? Lots of fans also don't seem to trust Randy Orton with Cody Rhodes. Cody called him up and Randy accepted, but fans feel like a Randy versus Cody feud could also still be in play for the near future. So of course, a lot of attention is on CM Punk, but there's still lots of exciting possibilities here for Randy Orton's immediate direction as well. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.